Today we don't go subcompact, we go monster impact. I'm Tim Johnson, you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Durofix 1 inch jumbo impact wrench. Model number is the RI60176. This thing runs on 60 volts of power and it will run on one battery or two batteries. And we have a couple of different sets of batteries here that we're going to talk about. Now let's dive right into this thing and take a closer look at some of the features on this gun. Even though it's a big old brute of an impact wrench, there are some features on this that may surprise you. Well, there's nothing compact about this impact wrench whatsoever. In fact, that's why they call it the jumbo impact wrench. One inch anvil, it's the Durafix RI6016 jumbo one inch impact wrench. This guy weighs a little bit as well. So we will weigh this and we'll measure it here in one moment, but let's talk about some of the features and specs on this. You can see right away, we have an adjustable handle here. I believe it swivels uh, 360 degrees all the way around the tool, wherever you want that auxiliary handle facing, you can do so. You also have a lanyard ring or a lifting ring right here to support the weight of this so that if you're doing a, you know, a lot of stuff, it could be hanging from something or at least being supported around your shoulders or neck rather than just you holding onto this tool. Now, right away, you'll notice kind of the saddlebag ports on this um, for the batteries. And this is a 60 volt tool. So it's a 60 volt one inch impact uh, and it runs on 60 volt batteries. Here's the key on this. It can run saddlebag batteries where you have a battery on both sides or a battery on each side. It can also run on just one battery. So it does not require the two batteries. I'll touch more on that in just one moment as well. Now it runs a brushless motor on this. And of course we have lithium ion batteries with the brushless motor gonna give us longer run times and uh, should give us more power as well, uh, especially for the size we're talking about versus a brushed version. So it's supposed to put out up to 2,500 foot pounds of breakaway or loosening torque and up to 1,900 foot pounds of tightening torque. Now, not just that, we have different speeds on this gun. So first we have a variable speed trigger here and I'll show you once we get a battery on uh, that we can slow that, uh, that anvil, slow that socket down about as you know, slow as we want to. Uh, and then we can also speed it up at wide open and we have variability within that as well. And in fact, with the variable speed motor, we're gonna get zero to 2000 RPMs and zero to 3000 impacts per minute. Now, the five speeds we have here, in speed one, it's actually gonna do more than just be a lower speed. Uh, this is supposed to have electronic torque control. So it's actually gonna measure the amount of torque that's being driven to the anvil, and it's also gonna have auto shutoff on the first four modes. So in mode one, it's going to be 250 foot-pounds. Mode two is gonna be 500 foot-pounds, Mode three, 800 foot pounds. Mode four, 1,250 foot pounds. And all of those are gonna automatically shut the tool off when it reaches that point. So it won't just slow down or uh, uh, you know just stop moving. It's actually gonna shut the tool down. Now in mode five, it's 1,900 foot pounds. It's not going to stop the tool. It's just gonna keep hammering and that's all it's going to deliver is that 1,900 foot pounds of tightening force. Now you'll see right away here that we have two different size batteries here. And our point to this is, is that Durafix actually offers a couple of different battery packages. In fact, this tool is not quite out yet, but should be within the next month or two, uh, or when you're seeing this video that it may already be out. Anyway, this is their two amp hour 60 volt version. This is their four amp hour 60 volt version. Now this runs 18650 cells and this is 21700 cells. I'm not gonna get deep into battery technology right now, but this is basically the, the larger, uh, more powerful cells is the 21700, which is what the four amp hour gets. And you can see right away by the sheer size of this, which is a longer and fatter cell, that this is a bigger battery pack and that's why, because it's running the bigger cells. So four amp hours here, two amp hours here. Now. The kicker is when you buy the tool and you buy the standard package, you're actually not gonna get either of these. You're actually gonna get a step up. You're going to get a step up from the two amp hour. You're gonna get a two and a half amp hour 
uh, set of batteries with this tool when you purchase it. And then the upgrade would be going to the four amp hour packs as well. Now we'll run this with, uh, we'll run this tool with both of these battery packs in it. And I've got two of each here. So let me throw the two amp hours on here which by the way, pretty typical on most of your battery packs. So I can hold the button down and actually see how much charge we got left on the tool. So I'm going to put both batteries on, but you'll see here. So I've got both batteries on and I can pull the trigger. And by the way, we get kind of a delayed or slow, not a delayed start, a slow start. So when I pull the trigger, it kind of starts off soft and then takes off. And I'll show you that once we get on the test rig that it does that. Uh, and you'll also see from my trigger trigger finger here, I can go really slow and I can speed it up. So you can control a lot of that power from your finger regardless of what uh, mode you're in. So right here on the mode switch or the speed switch, we can select whether we want one, two, three, four, and then mode five is when all four of the lights light up. So that's when you know you're in mode five and that's just gonna be max output. But these other ones, these other modes one through four are going to have that auto stop feature where it automatically stops that tool once it reaches that, uh, that 250, 500, 800, or 1200 foot pounds. Also, let me touch on one more thing before we uh, weigh and measure this and then go over to the test rig. So on these uh, saddlebag batteries or on these dual batteries, in fact, let me pull this one off and then we'll just show you here, even on one battery, we're still getting, we're gonna get the same performance as if we had two as far as initial performance. Now, let me tell you where the dual batteries come in. And this is a really cool feature. My understanding is built into the PC board, there's some actual battery management, meaning Let's say uh, that you wanted to run just one battery because maybe you're holding it a certain way or doing certain work and so that one side is gonna help you kind of counterbalance something. Or maybe you just want a lighter tool, you put the handle up this way and you just hold it and being a lighter tool. But let's say we have another battery that is deader or <laughs> less charged uh, than the one that's on the tool. When we put that on there, the PC board is going to realize which one has more charge. Now the one that has a higher charge, it's actually going to use that battery. The other battery is going to supplement that battery. And so that lower battery will continue to help out this one. And as this one goes down, it continues to help the other one until it's depleted. So you're always going to be using, the tool is always going to be using the higher charged battery. So oh, that's pretty cool technology. I don't know of anybody else that's using something like that, but it makes a lot of sense and it's not continually fighting over which battery to use or it's not just dumb and using both of them. It's actually, you know, looking at these batteries, measuring the voltage coming out of them and depending on uh, where that's at, it's going to determine which battery it uses and that lower battery is going to feed the other one. So let's weigh this thing and measure it. You know what, let's get a measurement here. It looks like from anvil to the back of the tool, you're right at about 19 inches. Again, we know this is not a short tool um, and then height wise, you're right at nine inches on the height and width, uh, if you wanted to go across the batteries, goodness, we're 11 inches across the tool, uh, we're right at six inches. Uh, so again, not a small tool, not something that you're going to be reaching for, for being a compact impact by any means. Okay. So we've got our scale zeroed out. Man. So 26 pounds, 14 ounces, that's with the two amp hour batteries on there. So almost 27 pounds with both batteries. Let's pull one battery off of here. So you're looking at 24 pounds. So you're saving a couple of pounds uh, by pulling a battery off. Now let's measure this with the four amp hour batteries on here. So 29 pounds, just over 29 pounds, 29 pounds, one and a half ounces. So definitely not a light tool right at between 27 and 30 pounds for this little gym. But let's face it, you're reaching for this gun to do a lot of work. You're not reaching for it to, uh, to be light. Let's go put it to use. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to tighten our big one and a quarter inch, uh, fine thread fasteners 
to 1,000 foot-pounds, 1,250, 1,500, and 2,000 foot-pounds, and then break them free with the Durafix Jumbo Impact. Now, this is a precision, very high precision torquing tool. And so we're going to 1,000 foot-pounds. So 1,000 foot-pounds. There's 1,000. We'll go to 1250. Now 1250. Now 1500. And now 2,000 foot pounds. Okay, so what we have, we have tightened these to 1,000 foot-pounds, 1,250, 1,500, and 2,000 foot-pounds. I'm going to put it in reverse. So 1,000 foot-pounds. Here we go. Not a problem there. Here's 1,250 foot-pounds. Wow, here's 1,500 foot-pounds, and 2,000 foot-pounds. That's with the smaller 2 amp hour batteries. This is the larger 5 amp hour 21700 cells. Well, we weren't able to do a whole bunch of testing on this because two things. Number one, we need to get bigger bolts still. Now, we just upgraded to those one and a quarter inch bolts, I don't know, about a year ago, but those will only run to about 2,000 foot pounds. Arguably, that's really over torquing when we put grease on them. So, they're not going to hold up to the 2,500 foot pounds that we need to test this. We didn't even get into the larger batteries here. We did everything with the two amp hour batteries and breaking free even the 2,000 foot pound fastened nut, this had no problem doing that. Now the auto start features or the auto stop features, we'll test that and we'll do some field testing and we'll test uh, the larger batteries on a future review probably in the next month or so. We'll take this out in the field, use it a bit, probably on some heavy equipment, maybe even on some construction stuff, on tightening and loosening. And then again, we'll kind of push the limits on how much reversal torque or how much removal torque or loosening, breakaway, whatever you want to call that, breakaway torque it has with both the two amp hour and the four amp hour batteries. We'll have a link in the description where you can find the Durofix RI 60176 impact wrench and they'll be on sale sometime in the next few weeks we'll have a link in the description when that happens as well so be sure to check it out on the durofix website also keep track of us on instagram facebook and twitter and hey if you don't mind would you hit that thumbs up button and even hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and by all means if you hated our video give us a thumbs down but would you let us know in the comments why have a great day keep smiling